Okay, let's talk about the point slope formula. And here you see this is the formula here. And what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to walk you through how to use this formula, the importance of it. And uh, this is a, a critical formula and skill you need to know, especially if you're studying algebra. So this is all part of the uh, kind of the core skills you learn as an algebra student. But again, um, what we're doing here is applicable to many uh, different courses. So if you're struggling with the point slope formula, I'm going to go ahead and get you cleared up on that in just one second. But first, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over many, many years have constructed several, several uh, full and complete comprehensive math courses. So if you're struggling uh, in math, whether it be pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, geometry, whatever the case might be, I'm gonna leave a link to my math learning program in the description of this video. You can check out my full courses there. And if you like my um, teaching style, I would also encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'm posting stuff uh, all the time. I already have hundreds and hundreds of math videos there for you. And of course, if you enjoy this video and get something out of it, please can, uh, consider smashing that like button. Okay, so let's get to it. Point slope formula. All right, what are we talking about here? Well, let me just kind of draw a quick x, y axis here. All right, so let's just use an abbreviation, point, slope, formula. All right, what is the deal here? Well, the deal is this, okay? We're talking about linear equations, all right, which are lines, like so, okay? And we're trying to find the equation of some line, all right? So this is like, you know, think of yourself as a detective. We're trying to find the equation, and more often than not, we're trying to write this equation in y equals mx plus b, uh, uh, form, right? So in other words, uh, for example, this line might have an equation of y equals 2x plus 1, okay? So we're trying to find the equation, what we call the linear equation. This is uh, an equation that models this line, okay? So this is what we're trying to do, with the, uh, and the point-slope formula allows us to do this. But we need to have some other basic fundamental things about finding the equation of a line, okay? So we're trying to find the equation of a line. What do you need to find the equation of a line? Well, you need the slope, okay, m, all right, slope. And by the way, I'm assuming you have some some uh, background already with the slope and graphing lines, et cetera. If you don't, you know, if you're not familiar with what the slope is or how to graph a line, then, you know, you might want to go back and review that because that's kind of a prerequisite before you get into this stuff. All right, so we need the slope, all right, of a line that we're trying to find out. So, for example, this line, we're saying, okay, the slope is, let's say, 2. And we also need to know one point, okay, at least one point that's on that line. So if I say, hey, I have a line, its slope is 2, and the point, let's say this point here is negative 8, negative 3, okay, this point is on this line. I know the slope of this line. That's all the information you need to find the equation of a line. Now, you have kind of two options here, right? You can take the point slope uh, equation. Let me just write this here. And right, this is what we're going to focus on in this video. All right, I, I love this equation. I think this is more often than not the, the primary way I think that students should a primary formula that students should take when they're trying to find the equation of a line. Or you can use y equals mx plus b and work with this uh, slope-intercept formula. Both are good. I prefer this method. This is what I kind of really focus on when I'm teaching because it kind of just handles all situations very nicely. But um, either one of these formulas will get you your final answer, which will uh, look something like this. Okay? Now, a couple things here, right? You need uh, a point and the slope of a line. But let's talk about a situation real quick, and then I'm going to actually apply the point-slope formula. Uh, what if we said, oh, we don't have the slope, but I have another point that's on this line. So let's say this point here is 2, 3, okay? So the question is, find the equation of the line. In other words, we want to find this y equals mx plus b business, okay? Find the equation of a line given that this line passes through these two points, okay, negative A3 and 
negative eight, three, or negative eight, negative three, excuse me, and two, three. Okay, so this line is passing through these two points. This is also fine. So when you're trying to find the equation of a line, you need the slope and a point. That's what you need. But here I'm like, oh, well, I got two points. Well, guess what? Between these two points, you can calculate the slope, m, all right? So you need to know how to find the slope given two points, okay? And then once you have the slope, okay, uh, you have the slope and you're like, okay, I need the slope and a point. Well, I have two points. Well, you can use either one and still get the right answer. You can use this point or you can use that point. The slope is still the same. And then uh, you can obviously get the right answer. All right. So I find as a, as a math teacher that sometimes you know, students are confused about what is the formula about? What are we even trying to do? So this is an overview of finding the equation to lines, okay? whether you're using a point-slope formula or slope-intercept formula. And now let's go ahead and practice how to apply the point-slope formulas. All right, so let's write this now here. Y minus Y1. Okay. All right, so here it is, right? So let's say I'm going to use this little uh, acronym here. Find the equation of a line. Okay, we already talked about what that meant. Uh, uh, what we're trying to do here, right? We're trying to find the y equals mx plus b. So find the equation of a line that has a slope of, let's say, 3 and passes through the point 2, 5, okay? So we have a line that has a slope of 3 and it also passes through this point 2, 5. So find the equation of a line. We're going to break out the point uh, uh, or the uh, point slope formula, okay? So here it is. All right, so here's what you need to know. This little y1 this little m and this little uh, x1 here are what we're going to be plugging in. Okay, we're going to be plugging in values here, okay, for y1, m, and x1. So when we look at a point, okay, remember a coordinate, a point like this is an x, y coordinate. It's a point, all right? This first number here is going to be our x1, and this value over here is y1. Of course, we have m as 3, okay? So don't let that confuse you. Right with the x1, y1. I know this kind of looks a little intimidating at first, but it's really a very easy uh, formula to uh, apply. Okay, so let's go right to it and uh, do this problem. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, and first write the point uh, slope formula. Okay, and then we're going to go y minus. Now, using parentheses, we're going to be very careful because these could be negative values, but we'll do another problem here in a second. So we're going to plug in y1, okay? So y1 is 5. So y minus 5 equals m, m is 3, okay, times x minus 2, all right? And uh, you can, well, I always encourage you to use parentheses when you're plugging things in, especially with negative values. But if you're very careful, you could write it like so, okay? So here our x1 is 2, right? So make sure you understand how this gets set up. Once you understand the setup, now this is his basic algebra. All right, so let's go ahead and clean this up. And what we're gonna be doing here is solving for y, all right? And the steps are almost always the same. So it's gonna be y minus five is equal to three times x minus two. Now, right here is a place where students typically mess up because this, is, this involves the distributive property. Our first step is we're gonna have to go like this and like this, okay? So this is going to be y minus 5 equals 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6, okay, or minus 6, all right? So uh, this, uh, the distributive property is a place where a lot of students make errors. So just be very careful that you, uh, you correctly use the distributive property here. And then to solve for y, to get y by itself, all I have to do is add 5 to both sides, and just nice and neatly, I can go y equals 3x plus 1, and I am done, done, okay? So y equals 3x plus 1 is the equation of a line, okay, that has a slope of 3 and passes to the point 2, 5, okay? All right, so that is the illustration of using um, uh, the slope not the slope intercept, the point slope. Okay, there's a slope intercept and this is the point slope. Okay, let's go ahead and try another problem real quick and then we'll wrap up this video. All right, so this time let's make it a little bit more interesting. Okay. All right, so let's find the equation of a line where the slope is, let's say, negative one half 
and the line passes through one negative four. Okay, so if you want to pause the video, go ahead and see if you can uh, do this problem on your own. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in the values. So y minus y1, okay, is going to be negative four. Now this is where, you know, you got a minus and you got a minus four here for your value. So when you have these negative numbers, you want to be using parentheses. So y minus y1, just plug in the values first. Don't try to do any, any more additional steps. Just plug in values first, like how we're doing here. Okay, so y minus a minus four. M is negative one half, all right? X minus or X one is one. Okay, so double check that you plugged everything correctly. Everything looks good. So at this uh, point, we want to start cleaning this up, okay? So we'll start over here. Y minus a minus four is going to be Y plus four equals negative one half X minus one. We'll just write it like so. We can kind of control and see the you know the steps in you know, one at a time. Okay, at this uh, point of the problem, you want to go ahead and use the distributive property right here. All right, let's give ourselves some more room. All right, so this is going to be y plus 4 is equal to negative 1 half times x, which is negative 1 half x, and then negative 1 half times a negative 1 is going to be what? That's going to be a positive 1 half. Okay, so negative times negative. That's going to be positive, positive, one-half. All right, and at this time now, all I need to do is subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. And I'm going to get y equals negative one-half x plus, if I have a negative 4 and I'm adding a one -half, positive one-half to it, I'm going to have what? I'm going to have a negative 3 and one-half, okay? Of course, you can... Um, use fractions and whatnot to kind of figure this out, but that is the deal. Okay, so that is the point-slope formula. It's an excellent formula to find the equations of a line, okay? You need to know how to find the equation of a line. It's a critical, critical algebra skill, okay? Um, again, if you need more help with this or you want my full instruction on this, I'm gonna encourage you to check out my uh, full learning program, uh, and you can find that in the description of the video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.